Hey guys, and welcome back to another Freaky Friday video on my channel. Today's video is going to be another video in the Haunted Hotel series, and I'm really excited to share this one with you guys, so let's get right into it. So today we are going to be talking about the Queen Mary Hotel. Now, the Queen Mary Hotel is actually known to be one of the most haunted places in the entire world. And it also has a lot of history, like probably more than any of the other hotels that I've talked about on this channel, but I personally don't know too much about war or boats, so I'm going to try and give you guys as brief and as detailed as possible with me still understanding it, because once you get into the war stuff and whatever, I just don't understand. So for those of you who may be a little bit confused, the Queen Mary, which is now located and permanently docked in Long Beach, California, is actually a boat hotel. So you can go and stay on it, but it is a boat, and it is permanently docked again in Long Beach, California. Now this boat, before being turned into a hotel, was actually involved in a few wars. And after the wars were over, I believe that the boat was actually a cruise ship, so it traveled around the waters, but now it is again permanently stationed and docked in Long Beach, California, where you can go and stay on it like a hotel. So now with that all out of the way, let's get right into the scary stuff. The Queen Mary is actually said to have upwards of 150 spirits who live within the boat. And it was actually the place of somewhere around 49 deaths, which doesn't seem too high to me, especially because again, this boat was used during multiple wars. So that number just doesn't seem to be too high, but it does definitely add to the creep factor of this case. And on top of all of that, again, the boat is very, very old. So the way that it looks is just extremely creepy and unsettling. Like it's one of those places that you look at and you're like, yep, that's definitely haunted. Like in many hotels that are claimed to be haunted, guests who stay in this hotel claim that while being in their room, sometimes the lights go on and off without any explanation. And they often also report the sheets being pulled off of them in the middle of the night while they are asleep by some invisible force. The first ghost that I'm going to talk about is actually been dubbed the White Lady. She is often seen by guests and people who work at the hotel in the Queen Salon, and when she is seen in this room, she is often seen wearing a white wedding dress, which again is why she has been dubbed the White Lady. Now, there isn't too much that I could find about what she does, how the encounters go, but people do claim to see her quite often, and then she vanishes right before their eyes. So this next one that I'm going to share is more of an encounter rather than a reoccurring ghost. So in 1989, two women who worked for the hotel had actually been sent to clean the Mortinia room. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have no idea what it is, but I believe it is the area where they hold conferences and whatnot. So they had been sent to clean this room because there was a very um, important party and conference or whatever being held in that room later that evening. So the women were in there cleaning when they noticed that there was what they assumed was a guest sitting directly in the center of the room in a chair. Now they didn't really bother with this person too much, they just kind of figured that they'd leave soon once they realized that the women were cleaning. So they continued to clean around this person. Then a third woman came in to help the other two women clean the room, and that is when she noticed that this person that was sitting in the middle of the room was just really hardcore staring at her without breaking his gaze. And then all of a sudden he told her to get out of his way, and just like that, after gathering the attention of all three women, he vanished right before their eyes. A man by the name of John Henry is actually one of the boat's most popular ghosts. John Henry was actually a man who worked on the boat previously and he always worked in the boiler room. Now the exact time and date of his death is something that I couldn't discover online, but what I do know is that after he had passed away, his remains were found in the boiler room. John Henry's ghost is often seen between the boiler room and the green room of the hotel, and many of the guests and staff who work on the boat say that they have had first-hand encounters with John Henry, and he will often actually respond to you when he is asked questions about beer. The next area of the hotel that I'm going to be talking about is what was once the second class pool, but today is actually the Royal Theatre. Now this is said to be one of the most haunted places in the hotel. It isn't the hauntedest place within the hotel. I will be talking about that later on in the video, but this one definitely has more paranormal activity than some of the other rooms at the hotel. And in this particular room, it is quite high and there are several ghosts that are seen on a regular basis in this room. 
Some of the ghosts that are seen on a regular basis in this room include an older woman who is often seen in a old style wedding dress and she is often accompanied by a little boy in a suit. There is also another young woman who is often seen in this area and she is usually seen in an old fashioned styled tennis dress. But one of the ghosts that is often seen in this room, who I personally think is very, very interesting, although very tragic, is the ghost of a little girl by the name of Jacqueline Torin, who is also known by the staff who work at the hotel as Little Jackie. Some of the ghosts that are seen on a regular basis in this room include an older woman who is often seen in a old style wedding dress and she is often accompanied by a little boy in a suit. There is also another young woman who is often seen in this area and she is usually seen in an old fashioned styled tennis dress. But one of the ghosts that is often seen in this room, who I personally think is very, very interesting, although very tragic, is the ghost of a little girl by the name of Jacqueline Torin, who is also known by the staff who work at the hotel as Little Jackie. Little Jackie was said to be anywhere from four to six years old when she drowned in the hotel pool. A lot of the guests who go into this room, as well as the staff, often hear somebody, like it sounds like somebody splashing around in a pool, and you can actually often hear little Jackie calling out for her mom or dad. Now, just like the ghost that I talked about previously that haunts this ship, little Jackie is actually known to answer questions and respond and talk back and forth holding conversations with some of the people that she has encountered. She is also said to sometimes be accompanied by another little girl who also tragically drowned on the ship in 1949. So now I'm going to talk about one of the ghosts who is said to haunt one of the guest rooms within the hotel before I move on to talk about the most haunted room in this hotel. So the ghost that I'm going to talk about right now is known as Dana. Now Dana was said to have stayed in room B474 with her family, I believe her mom and her younger sister. I don't think that she had a father in the picture. But anyways, one day while she was staying in this room, a man had broken in and actually stabbed her mother and sister to death on the bed before going into the hotel room bathroom and shooting Dana to death. But Dana is not only said to have been seen in room B474, she is also often seen in the boiler room, the theater, and other places all over the entire hotel. And just like some of the other ghosts in this ship, she is often seen before people and then vanishes right before their eyes. And again, next I'm going to be talking about the most haunted room in this entire boat, and that is room B340. Now, due to the fact that this ship is said to be one of the most haunted places in the entire world, I can only imagine how high the paranormal activity in that room must be. I actually believe that this room was completely closed off to the public until recently, due to how high the paranormal activity in that room actually is. But today, I believe that you can rent out this room, just go on like TripAdvisor or whatever that is, and you can actually stay in this room. And, um, they provide you with a Ouija board and like a ghost hunting kit if you do stay in this room so you can really get the full ghostly experience while staying there. So room B340 actually used to be three rooms but over the years has been converted into one large room and is now I believe a suite that you can stay at like I mentioned before but I don't think that there is anything too special about this suite. It is quite large but I read online that a lot of the people who stayed in there say that it's pretty dark, it's dreary, it's not as nice as some of the other suites that you can stay at on the boat but this room is one of the most popular rooms that people stay in because of the paranormal activity. So this story goes that way back in the 60s before this ship was docked in Long Beach, California while it was still functioning as a cruise ship, a man who was staying on the boat went absolutely crazy and brutally murdered two women. Now, after he had brutally murdered these two women, it was quickly found out by some of the other people who had been staying on the ship and he was actually locked in either room B-22-2 or B-224 or B-226. And there was actually a guard stationed outside of the door just to, you know, make sure that he didn't get out and to watch him while he was locked in this room. Now, the reason that they locked the man in this room is because they needed to keep him secured until they docked in New York so that the police could come on and get him and arrest him and take him off the ship. 
Shortly after being locked in this room, the man began to violently bang on the door, yelling for the guard to let him out and that there was actually somebody else in the room with him. But of course, the guard just thought that this was the man's way of trying to get out of the room and escape being arrested when they docked. So he just ignored the man and eventually it got pretty quiet and the guard assumed that the man had fallen asleep. The following day when the ship was docked in New York, the NYPD came onto the boat to deal with this man and arrest him and take him off the boat and whatever. But once they got into the room, they actually found that the man had been completely torn apart with his insides and limbs being spread out all over the entire room. Now, the investigators who looked at this case have no idea what happened to this man. They say that whatever did this was not human and they have no signs of anything else being in the room with this man. And so after that kind of went public, that is when the paranormal reports started to come in, when people started to stay in these three specific rooms, which again have now been turned into one big room, which is B340. Now, just like any old story like this, the story of what exactly happened in this room varies from person to person, but one thing is for sure, whatever happened in that room was extremely brutal, and all of the guests who have stayed in this room, as well as the staff who go in there and clean and whatever, say that immediately upon entering this room, you are overcome with an overwhelming sensation of dread. You just feel so bad and sad and just awful. And again, the paranormal activity in this room skyrockets. It's absolutely crazy. And a lot of people who stay aboard this ship and stay in that room often don't make it through the night in room B330 before going downstairs and asking if the hotel has any other rooms that they can stay in. But that's really all the information that I have on the Queen Mary. There are actually a lot of other um, ghost encounters that you can find online that have taken place on the Queen Mary, as well as many other rooms of this boat that are claimed to be extremely, extremely haunted that you can go look into on your own. Or if you guys would like, I could actually do a second part to this video, so make sure to comment that down below if you want to see a part two of the haunting of the Queen Mary. But guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see in my future videos. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos from me. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.